We're going to talk about how to multiply fraction. Our last lesson, we would talk about how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Shen is making statuettes out of clay. Each statuette needs three eighths. Let's draw a little statuette. Each statuette needs three eight pound of clay. If he makes 12 statuettes, how many pounds of clay will he use? Several ways you can do this. You can draw 12 statuettes, and you know it's repeated addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I say how many pounds? So we can add this up 12 times. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. So 36, 8. Or, how many groups of 8 go to 36? 4 times. It's 32. 4, 4, 8. Or 4 and a half uh, pounds of clay. That's one way you could have done it. This is not efficient. There must be a way. Another word for repeated addition is multiplication. So we see 12 groups of 3, 8. Of means multiply. Make sure you know that of means multiply. So we have 12 groups of 3 eighths. Let's turn 12 into an improper fraction. Let's put a 1 underneath it. So 12 times 3 is 36. 1 times 8 is 8. You multiply across. Hey, same thing as this one. How many groups of 8 go in 36? 4 groups. 4 and 4, 8 are 4 and a half. The dimensions of West Green Park are 50 yards by 50 yards by 40 yards. Two fifths of the park will be dedicated for the playground. Three fourths of the playground uh, will be dedicated for the pool. What area of the park is for the pool? Display which park is for the playground and the pool. So here is the park. Two fifths of this park will be dedicated for the playground. Let's count. What's we have one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, eight. I see a hundred squares. So this park is represented by a hundred squares. So two fifth of these hundred square will be uh, dedicated for the playground. So two fifth of the hundred square. Another way you can do it is I can break this into five sections. So two of the five are dedicated to the red represents playground. Or I can do my mathematics. I can do a hundred groups of two fifth. I'm not going to add two fifth one hundred times. So let's multiply. That's two hundred. Multiply across. Turn this in proper fraction over one. Five. So how many groups of five go to two hundred? Forty of them. That's why I color forty squares. Two fifth is forty percent. So let's take out a different color. Green. Oh no, we should use blue. Blue represents the pole. Three fourth of the playground will be dedicated for the pole. So of this part of the red playground, three fourth of this will be thing. So how many square units make up the playground? Forty. So three fourth of the forty represent the pole. Or another way, I could divide this into through four parts and shade in three of them. So let's see. Divide this into four parts. So three fourths of the playground will be dated for full. So this will be full, this will be full, this will be full. So what's three fourths of 40? That's 120 over four. Or how many groups of four go in 120? 30. So what fractional area of the park is for the pull? 30 out of a hundred or three tenths. And that's the answer. However, there is there a faster way to have gotten this? Yes. Without using the model, we know three fourths of the playground. And what's the area of the playground? Playground is two fifth. So three fourths of the two fifth will be used for a pull. 
So, of means multiply. You multiply across 6 over 20, we simplify 3 tenths. So, you still got the exact same answer without a model. Next question. The rectangle below represents Luca's vegetable garden. He will plant vegetables in two-thirds of the garden. With your pencil, shade two-thirds of the garden. So, he will plant vegetables in two of the three uh, parts of the garden. Luca plants are using half of the shaded section to plant tomatoes. Highlight the area he could use for tomatoes. So, half of this, this will be for tomato, this will be for tomato. What fraction of the entire garden will Luca use for tomato? So, I see, if I extend this one, two of the six, or one third, is used, it will be used for tomato. So, that's using a model, picture model, area model. What about if we use an equation? Half of the two-thirds, because the garden, two-thirds of the garden are vegetable. Half of the two-thirds used for tomato. So, of means multiply. So, again, you multiply across two six, which simplify to one-third. So, one-third of the rectangle or garden are used for tomatoes. Let's try another one with picture model. The rectangle below represents Jason's vegetable garden. He will plant vegetables in one-fourth of the garden. Vegetables in this part of the garden only. With your pencil, shade one-fourth. I did. Jason's plants are using one-third of the shaded section to plant tomato. So, this will be tomato. One-third of this. What fractional part? That's not a lot. Let's see. This is going to be one out of... Hmm, let me extend these lines and find this. Be 1 out of 3, 6, 9, 12. 1 twelfth of the garden will be, we will be tomatoes. So what fraction of the entire garden will Jason use for tomato? Actually, you know tomatoes are not vegetables, so really you should say uh, fruit and vegetable garden. Well, anyway, so let's sidetrack. So one third of half. So we know that actually this should be one third of one fourth. So one third of one fourth. So we know that a fourth of this are vegetable. Of the fourth, a third of it represents tomato. So it'd be one twelfth, one twelfth. All right. So let's do some more picture models in case you still like picture models. What is two tenths of three three tenths, or using the decimal conversion, two tenths times three tenths? So here's three tenths, let's shade in three tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths. These are two tenths. Two tenths. So right here, what is the cross section? How many squares are crisscross? Six of the hundred are crisscross. So, well, if you want to, so this is the picture model. Let's look at the equation model. Two tenths times three tenths multiply across is six one hundred. That could be simplified to three fiftieth. But what is two tenths times three tenths? Six hundredths. Do you notice how a fraction is equivalent to a decimal? It is the exact same problem. So two tenths of three tenths is six hundredths. Try another model. But what is five tenths of eight tenths? Let me shade it eight tenths, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. What is five tenths? One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. So how many of the hundred squares are crisscross or shaded twice? cross-sectional of it, 40 hundredths. How could I have gotten that by using an equation? Multiply across, 5 times 8 is 40, 10 times 10 is 100. What if I wanted to write it using decimal? 5 tenths times 8 tenths is 40 hundredths. And that's how it is. These two are equivalent. 5 tenths can be written as this, 8 tenths can be written as that. They both equal 40 hundredths, 4 tenths. So how do you multiply a fraction of fraction? From what I can tell, it seems like they multiply the numerators 
multiply numerators, and then you multiply denominators. Yep, and then you simplify if needed. There's nothing wrong with doing pictures. However, writing equations, solving an equation is more efficient. So let's practice some more. Without model, what's half of half? Think about it. If you have half of an orange, what is half of that? I think it's going to be one fourth. But let's, oh, oh, so do it, not, no models. Multiply the numerator, or multiply across one fourth. What's three fourths? of half. That's three eighths. Again, if you would like to see here the model, here's half. We're going to split this into four parts. That's three eighths. What's one times one half? One half. What's three halves of one half? That's three fourths. And what's two groups of one half? That's one half. Another group of one half. That'd be one whole. What do you notice about the quantity of one half? Oh yeah, we have been multiplied by one half. When the first factor, like 1 half, 3 fourth, are less than 1, the quantity, so a half becomes a fourth, so a half becomes a fourth, and a half becomes 3 eighth, the quantity decreases. When the first factor is equal to 1, the quantity stays the same. Nothing happens. When the first factor is greater than 1, like 3 half and 2, it increases. So when you multiply a decimal or a number, and you multiply the first whole factor, or the first decimal, first fraction, and it's very small, it's less than one whole, you're shrinking it. When you're multiplying, uh, as the factor is very, very large, like more than one whole, you're increasing it, you're expanding it. So the word of means multiplication. Like for example, five groups of four. Five groups of four. Is 20, as you can tell. Or you could just say five times four. And last one. Mr. Joe caught two-fifths of the squid and one-fourth of crab. Being generous, he donated half of his seafood cash to Spongebob. How many pounds did Mr. Joe donate to Spongebob? So he caught two-fifths. Then he caught one-fourth. I want to know how much he caught in all. Do you remember your common denominators? What, is, what do five and four share in common denominator? Twenty. So can you rename two-fifths as twenty? So five go to twenty, four groups. Four groups of two is eight. Four go to twenty, five groups. That's five twenty. So two fifth can be renamed as eight twentieth. One fourth can be renamed as five. Sorry, eight twenty and five twenty together. Thirteen twenty is total catch. That's the total amount of seafood I caught. Thirteen twenty. But did he donate half of his seafood catch? Half of thirteen twenty. What does of me again? Oh, multiplication. So what's half times 1320? That's multiply across 1340th. So he donated 1340th of a pound to SpongeBob. And last but not least, Tyrus Bank's favorite food is the burrito from Taco Bell. I Googled it. Mr. Joe went to Taco Bell and bought one burrito to share with Tyra. Aww. He kept four fifths of the burrito for himself. This is for Joe, this is for Joe, this is for Joe, this is for Joe. Tyra, so that means if I kept four fifths, Tyra only had one fifth for herself. But Tyra, so she was full, she ate two thirds of her share. So she ate this, she ate this part and this part. What fractional part of the burrito did Tyra eat? So she ate two-thirds of the one-fifth. You multiply across, she ate two-fifteenth of the burrito. And the pre-AP class will be doing this one. Um, this represents one whole. Can you figure out which fractional part? This will probably be one-fourth. 
and so on. So uh, I'm not going to go over this. Uh, we'll do it during class. So that's this multiply fraction. How do you multiply fractions? You multiply numerators, multiply denominator, and then you simplify. So multiply across, simplify.